Before we start, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more similar videos. Ahmed is a city located in Turkish occupied Kurdistan. Approximately, there is about 1.5 to 2 million people living in the city, most of them being ethnic Kurds. The city is considered to be the largest city in Greater Kurdistan and a centrum for the Kurdish independence movement since it's been an important point of the conflict between the Turkish state and various Kurdish insurgent groups. The city's name is disputed. However, the name of Ahmed comes from the Assyrian period and the name is repeatedly used in older Syriac and Arabic works. The Romans and the Byzantines call the city Amida and documents from 1358 which is believed to come from the Empire of Trebizond shows that the city once were called Amit. The modern international known name Diyarbakir is newer and the order of changing the name officially was made by Kemal Atatürk in 1937. The name itself, Diyarbakir, came from the Arab conquest in the 7th century when the Arabian Bakr tribe settled in the region and the area became known as Diyarbakir, meaning land holding of the Bakrs. In ancient times, the city of Ahmed was involved in a rebellion against the Assyrian king Shalmaneser III. After the rebellion, the city was implemented into the Neo-Assyrian Empire. Between 189 BC and 384 AD, about 500 years of time, the city was a part of the Kurdish Kordun Empire until it within time was conquered by firstly the Romans and eventually the Arabs. As a part of the Ottoman Empire, the city of Ahmed became an important capital of a larger province a strategic city full of soldiers guarding the region against a Persian invasion. However, Ahmed was also a center of tragic events, when a majority of the city's Armenian and Assyrian people were massacred and deported during the Armenian and Assyrian genocide in 1915. Kurdish tribes loyal to the Ottoman Empire participated in these killings, ordered by the Turkish official cavalry. Simultaneously, local Kurdish inhabitants in Ahmed and other parts of Kurdistan tried their best to hide and move away targeted Assyrians and Armenians. More about this in our two documentaries about the relationship between Kurds and Armenians and the relationship between Kurds and Assyrians. Link will be provided in the description box below. In 1925, Sheikh Said raised a rebellion against the newly established Turkish state. The center of this rebellion were in Ahmed, which also led to the consequence that the battles took place inside and around the city as well. Turkey, once the rebellion was defeated, hardened their control of the city. After the rebellion, people tried to go back to their normal lives but were constantly harassed and persecuted by the Turkish government, which forbid the Kurdish language and identity. In 1978, PKK was formed in a local society outside of Ahmed. Ahmed would eventually become the central city of PKK, since it already was considered to be the capital city of northern Kurdistan. Many Kurdish people from Bakur even consider Ahmed to be the undisputed capital city, of Greater Kurdistan, not only because of its political importance, but also because of the fact that the city is Kurdistan's largest city when looking at the area. Due to the war between PKK and the Turkish state, living on the countryside was dangerous in Turkish-occupied Kurdistan. A lot of Kurds who lived on the countryside therefore moved to Ahmed between 1990 and 1997, which made the population of the city grow from about a half million to 1.5 million in less than seven years. A Turkish report shows in November 2006 that Kurdish is the biggest language spoken in Ahmed, followed up by Turkish. The same report shows that about 75% of the city's inhabitants are Kurdish and that also minorities of Assyrians and Armenians lives here. 
Though being a target of Turkification, the Kurdish inhabitants of Ahmed also has suffered from terror attacks, not at least in recent times by the Islamic State who in 2015 targeted a HDP rally, killing 4 and injuring over 100, and also in 2016 targeting the Kurdish people in two separate attacks. The aftermath of the attacks even accused the Turkish government of aiding and even themselves carry out the attacks. Since the failed election of Erdogan, the city and its surrounding has also been a target for Turkish bombs and further persecutions with the goal to silence the HDP movement, who before that had made an historical and successful election. Politically, Ahmed was also highlighted recently when the elected mayor of Ahmed, Adnan, was put away from the post and accused for supporting terrorism, leading to a big demonstration for several days by the Kurdish people in the city. The Kurdish city of Ahmed is and will always be in the heart of every Kurdish individual, and even though the city is full of great places to discover and visit, the future of the city will for sure see more persecution and experience more suffering as the city is the center of the Kurdish resistance in Baku. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and comment down below which city you want us to talk about in the next video. Until next time, check out these two recommended videos and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.